everyone i hope you're having an amazing day um so today we will be starting our salesforce user interface um so which is uh, one of the section you need to know for a platform dev one um so today we'll be talking about visual force and i'll be uh demonstrating you the basic uh building blocks of visual force page uh, and I will explain to you what visual force is all about and uh, today won't be uh, too advanced so because since it's the first day of visual force so I wanted to keep it simple right so that being said uh, you need to have a little bit of understanding about uh, HTML before you start visual uh, force development uh, and uh, and if you know a little bit of JavaScript that will help as well but in case if you are someone who's new to uh, HTML and uh, JS that is the JavaScript I would encourage you to check out uh, HTML uh, tutorials there are a lot of HTML tutorials out there online please go through and you know and play with HTML uh, and a bit of CSS will help as well but uh, that's all good um, please stay along and I'll try to make this uh, session as simple as possible, right? Even if you don't have uh, understanding of HTML, right? Okay, so what is Visual Force page, right? When you talk about, see, until now we have done Apex code, right? Apex is a programming language, which is an object-oriented programming language, right? Visual Force uh, is a markup language uh, for Salesforce. What I meant by that, you can uh, build web pages using Visual Force. Uh, Apex uh, you can't build a web page using an Apex. Apex is just a programming language, right? It's similar to uh, uh, something like um, if you're someone from a C sharp background, right? It's like C sharp is it's a language, right? And then you have a uh, you know ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core. You have different web frameworks for developing uh, you know web pages, similar to when you do with Angular, right? Angular JS, so you can use TypeScript, right? And then Angular is a web framework, so uh, JavaScript framework. So, uh, sorry, I don't want to confuse you. So, uh, so coming to Salesforce, right? Um, Salesforce is it's like uh, sorry, a Visual Force page is a markup language, right? Um, and you can use HTML along with uh, a Visual Force page. Now you might wonder, right? Why do I need to use? Why do I have to care Visual Force, right? Uh, well, there are th the reason why you need to care when you wanted to implement something which is not supported uh, out of box by Salesforce. For instance, uh, you wanted to add something to a contact page, right? There are a lot of things uh, Salesforce offers you out of box, but if, let's say if you wanted to customize it, right? Then you can use Visual Force page. Right. If you can't, there are certain things which you can't do using a uh, point and click, and so in that case, uh, you need to, to you need to build uh, another UI that's user interface. So you need to use Visual Force uh, component there. Right. Um, so Visual Force uh, is mostly a server based. It's a page centric. So when you uh, request an operation, right, the server handles the request and sends the HTML pa page. Uh, back to your browser, right? It's different to Lightning component or different to Aura component. So we talked about, we briefly touched about Aura in the beginning of the platform dev when we discussed about, uh, you know, different components like Visual Force, Apex, uh, and Aura. And so I will be touching on Lightning components, Lightning web components, but that's a different topic. We won't be covering that today. So our main focus of interest is only on Visual Force page, right? Right, so I hope that introduction is a bit clear for you. So it's a page centric, right? You have different tags, and, and you will be writing, a, you know, code to uh, build a UI. Let's say you can build a text box, you can build a button on the screen, you can build, you know, sections, page sections, right? You, if you know uh, what sections are, uh, if if you don't, please go through Salesforce documentation. Uh, and there's one video I've created about the page layout. So I've covered about the different sections. So please check that out. I will put the link in the description below for your uh, reference, right? So, okay, so let's dive in. The first thing first, as usual, uh, you need to log into your org. And I will highly encourage you to use uh, a developer account, which is a free account, please do not use client sandbox or production, right? Because you can't uh, learn something on someone else's environment, right? So it's better to have your own free environment. So 
uh, so Salesforce offers you free developer org, right? Cool. Right, so we need to uh, write Visual Force code today. Uh, you can write two ways. One, you can go to um, Developer Console, which is my favorite place to write a code. And you can go to otherwise uh, Visual Force pages here. And, uh, and you can do new and do that, but I prefer to use uh, Developer Console. So as usual, um, you know, I'll go to Developer Console by going to the GetCog icon. And it just takes a while to load. So we go to File, and we go to New, and we go to Visual Force. Uh, let's say I'm going to add um, to uh, contact information, right? I wanted to add first name, last name, right? Let's create a contact, you know, just to give a demonstration. Let's stick to the standard controller for now. Right, we don't want it to use a custom for now, so let's let's stick to the standard, right? So sorry, I don't want to use the word controller for now. So if you have heard controller, uh, just ignore it for now. I will cover that later in the later uh, series, right? So let's name it uh, contact uh, visual f page, right? Uh, and then you can go okay, right? So. The first thing first, so this is how uh, whenever you create a Visual Force page in a developer console, uh, it will give you a skeleton code, uh, Apex paste, that this is the beginning of the page and this is the ending of the page. If you are someone who have used HTML, right, tag, you know that this is something like that. Or if you've used XML, you know that it's starting and ending tab. So page, uh, Apex page is the beginning and end. And so I wanted to attach to uh, standard controller. So what does it tells you that? Look, it tells you that I want this page to be linked to a standard object called a contact, right? You can put an account, so it will link to an account uh, object, right? So uh, I'm telling uh, this Visual Force, hey, Visual Force, I wanted you to link this page to a contact. This is associated with a contact page, right? So I've, I've given the contact uh, object name here. So that's thing. Okay. Now we're gonna create a uh, apex. So you see the intelligence, pretty nice here, right? And I'm just gonna put everything in the form. Okay. Uh, so it will auto complete your code. So we're gonna write a entity. So Apex form, right, if you wanted to create a small interface. And so I'm going to put everything inside the form. And then we have something called sections. Uh, you know, you must know what sections are, as I mentioned to you earlier. So sections are something which you can find in the in the page, right? And uh, so we're going to do, the way you do that is uh, you can create a section here, Apex uh, uh, page block. That's what we called a so this is a page block so which is like a start of a section and we're just gonna name as let's put title equals to uh, just gonna put as add uh, contact right and then we're gonna do um, something called uh, page section. So, uh, okay, what I'm gonna do, right? I'm just gonna save it, right? I won't do anything further. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on UI first, right? Uh, then we can add further code to it so that it will get clear because rather than I'm writing a piece of code, you, will, you might get confused what I'm doing, right? So as usual, uh, Apex page is, you need to start every Visual Force with this tag, and then you have form if you wanted to, you know, put the components in between, like text box, edit box, whatever. Um, then we have page blog, which is a section, right? And then inside that we have multiple, you know, sections, right? It's page section. So, okay, uh, for now, forget about the page section. Uh, we'll stick to it, and let's go to our org. And let's go to see here because it's visual, po you know, the visual force page, right? So these are the list of visual force page. So if you don't know how to get here, so you go to setup, right? And once you're in setup, you go to setup here and you type visual 
and we're not dealing with components right we are dealing with simple pages so go to pages and since if you remember I have named it as contact visual force page um, so that's on the C um, so you're gonna go down so Mary will find it yeah so this is the one and you can preview the page here um, so right so see this is something look like a section here right so um, it just look ugly you know right it doesn't make any sense anyways right so now I'll, I, I would like an option where I can edit the I can write the code underneath and I can save it and I can see the results right so there's a way you can do that you can write the code and you can see the result at the same time so what we're gonna do for that let's go to our uh, users under uh, setup and uh, so let's go to the user you have logged in so and I've logged in as this mark and the system admin and I edit um, so pay attention to something called uh, developer mode so tick this one and tick this one as well view state in developer mode right and you're gonna save this okay now let's go back to visual force page and visual force page here and let's go to C again and let's go to um, oh, sometimes it doesn't okay you see you can see the code here right isn't it fantastic right you can write the code and then see the result okay now <clears throat> this is what I was talking about let's add uh, the contact section here okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna add something called apex um, what's it called page um, section right and uh, just gonna name as the section uh, let's say title I'm just gonna put something called title uh, equals to insert data right and let's save it and let's see what happens you see this is section got created right page section okay right let's add now apex um input uh, so these are the fields uh, so I'm gonna input field uh, value equals to right okay and it's gonna put contact dot first name save it right there you go see and I'll explain to you what I'm doing right so just bear with me please um it's fun to do, you know, web development. Um, so, if you're someone uh, who already has experience working with different web frameworks, then you will find Visual Pages super easy to work with. If you are someone who came from back uh, backend development, uh, even then it's fine. I mean, it's it's not that bad. Um, okay, so. So what I've done, <clears throat> I've actually added uh, input field. Input field like where we accept, uh, you know, the values, and then say for instance, what I've said, right? Okay, uh, add me uh, input field uh, to the screen, and this will, uh, this input fields are associated with the contact field, right? So I'm saying value is contact the first name. So this is contact the first name. And this is a contact the last time. If you know that, uh, uh, one thing I just wanted to point out that you can see there's a red uh, sign here. That means this is a mandatory field. So see the way the Salesforce has done the Visual Force, it's pretty pretty impressive, right? So it has tied up to your uh, uh, standard object, and then you are adding the standard object field uh, to fill in on a form, and then Salesforce automatically figures out that oh, okay. Uh, this field is mandatory, right? And it won't let you save without this field. Okay. Now, let's add a button field. Uh, Apex, I think it's a page button. 
in page blog button, yeah. Right, and Apex um, command, command button. I think it's, uh, uh, we have action because, you know, actions are um, action, right? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Right. See what I've done. I have created a command, but a page block button. Right. This is the one, and uh, and I said, right. I wanted to save this. Right. So if I wanted to save it, you can actually. So you put the save here. And you can also do update if you wanted to do that, or you can do edit, right? You can edit it. And then, uh, so I put the value of save. So this is action. Action is like a method, but it actually determines what you do with that. When you build a custom um, uh, visual force you, using a custom object, and you can write a custom method attached to it, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with the action, right? So. For now, just assume that this is the basic save option, what we have uh, in a um, Salesforce. So I've ex I just exposed it using a command button, right? So that's pretty much it. So uh, let me repeat the same thing again, what I've mentioned to you 10 minutes ago about the Visual Force page. So we start with Apex page, which is the beginning of the page. And you end with Apex page, which is, you know, you can see it's a tag based language similar to HTML. And uh, and then we have Apex form, so we which enclose this stuff here, and then we have Apex page block, so this is added at Apex page block, right? And then we have a block section, so you have a block section, so this is like uh, you know you can collapse and expand, so that's the one of the thing about Apex block section, so it's expand, collapse and expand uh, section, right? And 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 between uh, these uh, section block. I've added two input fields to accept the input, like the first name and the last name, right? And that is, I tied up, I tied down those two fields with the contact first name and the last name. And then I've created a, a page blog, right? A button where I've added the save command. So let's add a name. Uh, let's say Captain America, right? Save. Right see what happens there you go you got a Captain America as a contact created pretty straightforward right so this is what visual force is pretty simple pretty easy to use you can do complex stuff with it but today I just only wanted to focus on basic stuff to give you an idea how the visual force page works um, so to the next section we will uh, dive into a little bit more advanced topic on visual force it's pretty handy uh, you know people might come and tell you look uh, lightning is the latest why why even bother working with visual force it's true that lightning is the latest one and Salesforce encourage you to use the lightning web development components but that being said there are a lot of uh, legacy visual force page out there and it's very important for you to understand the visual force right when you go and work in a firm uh, which uses Salesforce they have a lot of custom visual force page you might need to you know make changes to the visual force page you can't say look I don't know anything about visual force page and probably the director might ask mm, but aren't you a Salesforce developer you're supposed to know visual force page right so you got to know visual force page because Salesforce hasn't stopped the support of visual force page yet so till then you need to know uh, and I don't think so they have any plans to do that because there are a lot of as I mentioned there are a lot of legacy visual force page out there and so yeah but any development I presume the new development they're gonna do that on lighting component so I actually don't know their road roadmap about uh, how they're gonna do uh, f you know with the visual force in the future but for now uh, you know they support it so uh, I think it's it's a great um, framework to learn and because it will give you an added bonus when you move to the lightning uh, web development right right so that being said I hope you uh, find some value in today's session and um, so yeah that's all I wanted to cover today so greetings from New Zealand adios